A volatile market and an uncertain state of the economy may have you scratching your head when it comes to making the right financial decisions in this new year, especially if you're in or nearing retirement. So joining us now for Retirement Coffee Talk are George Fossing and Zach Jenkins. They're part of the team at North Star Financial and Retirement Planning, mm -hmm. a local area firm that focuses on preparing people for a successful retirement. George and Zach are also popular radio show hosts. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Nice sweater. You, thank you. You know, I figure we need to going to shock, you know, people. Couple, couple into some boring guys in some jackets here. A little yeah. electric. I like it. Ah. <laughs> well, you can't look into the future, but what's your take on what we're seeing in the market and the economy right now? Uh, well, you know, November was an up month in the markets. December took it all back. I think we're going to see more of that going on. There's, okay. a lot of, there's a lot of feeling out where, where, what direction people are going in. Pontificating is easy in our business. Right. Everybody does it, you know. Uh, we cherry pick when we're right and leave it alone, I kind of ignore it when we're down, right? So right, we really don't want to do that out there. So really the, the markets are, are I, I, I guess the word is dicey. Yeah. It's still trying to figure itself out right now. Right. We're having major swings in the markets too. You know, some days it's up 2%, down 2.5%. Two, down two it gets kind of old for people. Right. So you really want to keep the guesswork out of it. Uh, you look historically, we just had one of our worst, it's our worst year since 2008. Really? Yeah, uh, S&P 500 was down about a little over 19%, well, yeah. right? And NASDAQ, you know, the technology sectors, they were down over 33% for the year. So uh, statistically too, there's only been nine times since about 100 years that there's been two down years in a row. Doesn't mean it can't happen, right. but these things do matter. So we're hoping for a correction, but how can you tell if your portfolio and retirement plan can survive a big uh, correction? I think a lot of people, they're actually living that right now. And they're seeing that, hey, maybe, you know, what I have been doing for, um, you know, some amount of time isn't working anymore. You know, we use different tools to give people an idea. If things were to continue to trend down like they have been, what would they expect based on where they are today? But I think that, you know, with what we've seen over the last year, it is, um, encouraged people or pushed them to say, hey, what other, you know, options or tools are available to, you know, give me some kind of stability or protection, you know, towards the downside so I don't have to ride that roller coaster that we talk about. And this has been resonating on the program. People are calling and, uh, you know, been coming in and sitting down with us and had a really good one uh, appointment the other day. Uh, Zach sat down with and she goes, yeah, this is kind of getting me ill. Her portfolio has been all over the board. Yeah. And she hears us talking about reducing that volatility. Right. Uh, it's she not only better for your portfolio, that. it really helps you sleep sleep better at night too. So is what she was doing, was that kind of creating an income plan? Yeah, it's exactly right. You know, why is an income plan? It sounds boring, doesn't it? Right. That's an income Looks plan. Looks like an income plan. Yeah, what, what is that? You know, basically a lifetime guaranteed income you can't outlive is important. See, that it's does a, not sound. It's called no, a pension. Yeah. That's not boring. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's important. Uh, and what it does, it de-stresses the portfolio. So let's go back, uh, some folks, you were working, you had your 401k, you really didn't pay too much attention to it maybe, because you didn't need it. So it did what it's going to do, right. uh, because you're working, you had a paycheck coming in. Well, for a lot of people now, all they're going to have is social security, and there's going to be a gap for a lot of people out there, right? And yeah. depending on the stock market to pull it out, that gets old pretty quick. So people want to come in and say, listen, some of the financial tools, as Zach said, that we utilize are designed for income. Uh, very, very powerful, anywhere from you know, seven to 12% annually we get out of this with a deep downside protection. So the risk of losing money is very, very, you know, low. Right. People like that. Well, what steps can we be taking at any stage to try to make this our best financial year yet? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I think maybe having that checkup, right? Just kick off the year yeah. with, you know, calling your advisor if you haven't heard from them and saying, hey, ready to come in from, you know, to kick off the year with my annual checkup, see where I am, what changes do I need to make? Um, what do you as my advisor see, you know, on the horizon? What are your predictions for 2023? What are you hearing? And, Smart. you know, get what's some, changed? yeah, what's yeah. changed, you know, kind of yeah. get some feedback and, and don't just talk about your investments, but talk about um, taxes, you know, are there any tax opportunities for you out there? You know, just go in and, and pick their brain a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of, uh, it's important. We're starting to see all of our clients yeah. having those reviews, take a look, start setting up this year, uh, see where we stand, make some of those adjustments. You know, if you're gonna have an advisor, you know, you need some advising. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what they're there for, you Make us it. work for the money. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah. <laughs> but really, it, it's that, uh, we survived very well through the last year. Um, and, you know, it's, it's just nice when the phones are quiet and you know, people aren't calling, oh, we're freaking out, but that's by design. Yeah. Uh, but you have to be aware, uh, the cost of downside protection is maybe that growth 
You're not going to get a 30% return when the markets come back. You might have a 15, 18, 20. Uh, but that's okay for people. They right. said, I don't need to knock it out of the park. The big thing, too, I uh, really mentioned to people, I said, if you were down, like, we had people coming in our office down like 30, 40%, and they'd done really well the year before. Right. But it just, just got taken away, Megan, right? Yeah. So they're coming in here, but they're down here now. People that maybe didn't have as much exposure, they're starting the new year only here. The people that are down, they got to get all that back so, before they're even even. Yeah. And that can go on and on and on, and people just find that gets pretty old. Yes. So ask questions, make your appointment, go see our friends <laughs> if you, you know, you're looking for a second opinion or maybe some new advisors. So thank you guys, we appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks for having us. Listen, if you're at home, if you're currently retired or you're getting close to retirement and would like to learn more about how to help protect and grow your hard-earned savings and investments, North Star Financial has a great offer for you right now for the first five callers who have saved $500,000 or more. They're offering a complimentary no obligation Retirement and investment report. This report will include potential tax saving opportunities and ways to reduce the effects of market volatility on your portfolio. Their team will schedule a phone call, video call, or future in office meeting. Just give them a call so they can speak with you personally and provide you that roadmap going forward. The number you see it on your screen, 864 309